If you're looking to relocate to the Tampa Bay area, I'm sure you're already familiar with all the big cities that everybody loves and talks about, like St. Pete, Clearwater, and obviously Tampa. But in this channel, we like to focus on the little hidden gems as well. We already talked about a few of them, like, let me think, let me think, Spring Hill, Lakeland, Tarpon Springs, and now we are going to add another one to that list and it's called Safety Harbor. This is a beautiful, quaint little town and I can't wait for you to check it out. If you have not heard of Safety Harbor before, Safety Harbor is a beautiful, quaint little waterfront town that is located just right across from Tampa. There's plenty of things to do, just like everything in a city, like shopping, dining, and also beautiful, beautiful properties. So let's dive a little bit more into Safety Harbor. If we're looking at the population compared to the other cities, there is a huge difference. The population in Safety Harbor is around 18,000 people. I know what you're thinking. Well, Martha, this sounds great and I'm super excited to find out more about Safety Harbor. But where is it located? Where is this beautiful place that you keep talking about? Well, if you look at the map, Safety Harbor is literally right across from Tampa. And the neighboring cities are many great places to visit as well. There's Dunedin, Tarpon Springs, Clearwater, and St. Pete, like the big ones that you've probably already heard of. And also Tampa, right around the corner, around 25 to 30 minutes. And you can see right on the map there how conveniently that city is located. Safety Harbor originated in the early 18th century and it was known that there were tons of pirates in that area. And because of that, they was told that if you reach the top of the Tampa Bay, that you were in Safe Harbor. And that's where they got the name for Safety Harbor. How cool is that? Okay, now on to the fun stuff. What is there to do in Safety Harbor? We already know shopping, restaurants, but let's talk about my favorite one. My favorite is Water Oak Grill right on Main Street. And I love to go there for lunch and afterwards I love to walk around and go to the marina that's just a few minutes away. And I love the food there because it's a little bit different from your usual lunch spots. And I always like to sit outdoors, but I do recommend if you plan on going and checking it out. Um, if you're going to sit outdoors, try to not go after like 12 because after 12 it gets so incredibly hot and um, it's just too much to bear. Even though the photos are going to be great because it's just a beautiful, beautiful restaurant. Definitely don't go in the afternoon if you're gonna sit outdoors. If you're gonna go sit indoors, the more you know. <laughs> There's also tons of parks. The area is known for its waterfront communities, so if you have a boat, then you're gonna love the marina. You're gonna love the places that you can go and drive your boat, fishing, kayaking, all that fun stuff. Now, in terms of my second favorite thing, which is, you already know, real estate. I know what you're thinking, Martha, this place sounds amazing and awesome, but what about the price range? Well, the average home price in Safety Harbor, it, it is going up and it has grown tremendously in just the past year. The average home price is around 506,000, but if you see the views, you know what you're paying for. What is the average home? What does it look like? Well, that's what I'm here for. Let me show you a couple examples of what's on the market right now. We have this beautiful home for 560. It has three bedrooms, two baths, and around 1,700 square feet. It has a fireplace and also comes with this nice pool. Beautiful, beautiful home. Okay, this one really got my attention. This beautiful home, look at it. It looks like it's straight out of a movie. It's listed for 820,000. Three bedrooms, two and a half bath, around 2,200 square feet. Look at that backyard oasis. I love it. So cute. 
this stunning property it has four bedrooms, three baths, around 4,600 square feet, listed for 1.5 million. I absolutely love the colors and the flooring. If you want to check out some of these homes in person or if you just want to browse around what's available, please click the link down below and you can go ahead and search and see what is on the market right now in Safety Harbor or in other surrounding areas as well. If you like this type of video, let me know what city we should talk about next. And if you're looking to get started and start your journey to relocating to Tampa Bay, please, please, please click the link down below and schedule a one-on-one -on -one call with me so that I can give you my undivided attention. You can always contact me via text, call, email. You'll have the option also to do a video call. So you know what I look like, you know what I sound like. I have no idea what you look like or what you sound like. So I like to do those calls because it builds a little bit of a relationship between us. And um, yeah, if you have any further questions, please feel free to reach me at the information on the screen and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Also, what do you guys think about the new setup? Do you like it? Do you like it? I'm really trying to go for this like, you know, YouTuber-ish look, but you know, also, you know, a little bit of me sprinkled into it. Um, I'm also trying to see um, if I do a series of beach towns. Tell me, beach towns, waterfronts, community. What do you want to see? Tell me, tell me, tell me. I want to hear everything about it. Bye-bye.